welcome guys to give chain academy channel my name is Gibeni. i am the founder of keep chain academy um it's nice to have you here today okay uh, in keep chain academy we basically teach people cryptocurrency and bitcoin and various ways to make money from the space okay and um, we're also into trading on crypto or kind of uh, cryptocurrencies and also teach you fundamental and technical analysis so you are always feel free to uh, join our group of traders and start making profit for yourself okay today we'll be talking about how to set a stop loss okay so um before we go in there i would like you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button there uh, always get notification of every of our new videos on our trading tips and various ways of making money cryptocurrency sorry um i'll be using the binance app to teach us today and um, i'll be pulling off my pen so i can use it to point on the screen all right so there is out okay now um normally when you enter a trade that uh, will have an uh, option in trading and we have different options okay let me say you come into the market to trade you already are in trade like you can see down here and you have other coins you want to trade uh, let me assume i've entered um, in btc market and in btc market we are at coins here are coins you can trade okay so you come to bnb market here are coins you can trade pairing with bnb and these are all the markets you can pay to bnb to trade same with odd coins and stable coins okay so now they assume you've entered a trade let me assume you've entered this trade with dent and you've executed the trade uh, let me give you an instance first let me maybe if you are first time coming to trade here when you come down to this point you see some um, limit order you see a dent pair to btc here you will see buy you will see sell you see open orders now you see limit order you go to limit order now on the limit order you touch it and you will see uh, other orders market orders will pop out and that you have limit order market order stop limit so and you can use any of this um, market order to enter your trade and also to exit from your trade so and basically i want to be talking on stop loss all right so stop loss uh is mainly used when you are selling because the reason for stop loss is to help you um, minimize your loss that is why it's called stop loss let's assume you entered a trade and is going um, sideways that uh, it may it's going down or should i use the uh, word is going bearish in and notice that you can't be able to hold the coin you have to sell so you have to use your stop limit in other words is also um, a risk management uh, uh, adoption in the binance um exchange so how do we sell a stop loss we go to sell order okay so here in sell order um you want to sell 
you open your li uh, market order you will see limit order you see market order and you so you also see um stop limit so you click on stop limit now you see stop ptc limit ptc amount tent you see the percentage if it's 20 percent 50 percent 75 percent or 100 percent you will determine the one you want to sell and let's assume you want to sell um dent but then i have no i don't have them so let me just um make an entry let me just buy dent so we could be able to see how to sell All right so uh normally you this is our uh, current rate of dent selling i'm not using stop limit to buy i want to use a, a limit order to buy is already at um uh, five satoshi so you see it here you see it here so this is the current uh trading uh, uh rate because uh, it's always the minimum traded and most persons always start from there so this is the, where the market stops now so and i want to buy definitely um, um let me use another market to buy this i don't want to use that let me use a hot market okay let me use a da pair to btc so um already is at 541 satoshi and i choose to buy with um 214 uh 25 percent of my portfolio um and it's giving me total of 2172 ata so and i want to enter the trade i'll click on buy now sources if once the market is filled is always gonna be on my open orders and i'll, I'll go to my open orders and i is filled so i have to go to order history is filled and i bought uh, ada at 542 satoshi so and i i want to use a stop loss on this now what do i do i go to sell when i go to sell i'll go to the place i'm seeing this limit order and arrow is pointing down I click on the place then I click on stop limit now the market is at 542 satoshi that's 542 satoshi and I want to um, give a stop loss in case the market is going sideways so um, now I will go here and I'll set at the amount I we want to amount of profit I could be able to lose like five percent, two percent, three percent, depending. So I'll just have to count to one, two, three, four, five. Then it's five, four, two, and I wouldn't want to wait for it to drop down to five. So I could just say my I'm going with five two zero all right so i'm also down that means i brought it down at this point what happens is uh, i already have a limit so i have to put my limit which i want the market to trigger one two three four five in case it go is going sideways meaning if market goes to this point i've already i've commanded uh uh, the exchange binance to sell for me at this rate even though i am not around now look at it here so if i click on sell the market is going to trigger for me so the essence of using stop loss is to minimize your locks that is why i've always said that in cryptocurrency trading you can't just lose or your money your money can never just get liquidated 
if you can play by the rules here so now i've said this now let me click on sell now what do you see now look at um, the information I have here if the if the price drops to or below to 0 0.00005 to BTC another to say 201 2169 at the price of 0 0.00510 BTC will be placed meaning that the moment the market gets to this point, this order will be placed, will be triggered, will be commanded to be sell to the sell uh, order. Definitely, if I click on yes, it's gonna be triggered and enter my open order. But okay, let me just complete it. Now I've just set it. Is already at my open order these are other coins already used and i didn't use stop limit i use sell limits now look at it here i'm giving a take profit of bear to ptc i sell using i use a sell limit sell limit sell limit and at this point i am using a stop limit so this is how to use a stop loss during trading so guys um if you learn something on this video uh quickly go to the subscription button down below and get subscribed for more videos and if you are interested in trading and knowing more about cryptocurrency um, bitcoin and blockchain technology okay quickly join our group of traders so i'll see you in the next video okay take care